Some of you might have heard this term before. Some of you are hearing it for the first time. To better understand what sensory friendly means, let's explore the thing it addresses, sensory sensitivity or sensory processing differences. Have you ever walked into a bunch of cobwebs? It feels awful. And even after you remove the cobwebs, your skin is still crawling. People with sensory processing differences often experience this kind of discomfort. But instead of cobwebs, stimuli like loud noises, bright lights, strong smells, crowds, and certain textures cause extreme discomfort. Sensory friendly experiences or activities have accommodations for people who experience sensory differences. For example, a sensory friendly theater could have the sound or lights turned down. A sensory friendly football game could offer a quiet room where people can get away from the crowd and noise for a while. A sensory friendly theme park or fair may offer sensory tools like headphones, sunglasses, or fidgets to help people with sensory differences self-regulate. Being sensory friendly allows people with sensory processing differences to experience places and events that they may have avoided in the past. More and more places are becoming sensory friendly because it opens opportunities to include more people in the community.